Theater itself is, in my opinion, the most collaborative art form. It's immediate. The audience reacts immediately, and frankly, the audience is part of every performance. When I graduated from college, I had a music degree. I was touring the country in bands. After that, went back home, which at that time was St. Louis, and started working at a real job, <laughs> a normal job. In 1982, I moved to New York and started doing theater as an actor primarily. Eventually, I got my first Broadway show, and that was Anything Goes with Patti LuPone. I got another Broadway show, uh, fortunately. Uh, it was the Buddy Holly story. And then uh, my next Broadway show was State Fair with John Davidson. My wife was working in New York. She had always talked about, you know, starting a theater someplace or working in a theater someplace. We looked in the trades and there was this opportunity. And so in 1998, here I am. When I came here in 1998, the year before, the main stage attendance was 22,704. My first year, we did 24,361, so we were on our way, and we ended up increasing attendance about 10% a year, so we were up to nearly 52,000 in 2009. And about 80% of them were having either lunch or dinner at area restaurants. And so we were driving a lot of business. In 2010, the nonprofit board, as nonprofit boards sometimes do, got executive director fatigue, and so they decided that they wanted to take the theater in a different direction. I was very surprised. I stopped working here. Then I watched a lot of bad decision making. And they hired uh, actually three executives in four years and went bankrupt twice over that period of time and closed uh, in early 2015. It was difficult to watch and so when they went chapter seven, I, I decided to suspend doing the shows that we were doing on the mainland and I spent all my energy on trying to put this back together. As soon as we announced that we were gonna reopen, people started calling. We got a, a, a burner phone so we could take orders. <laughs> so we did things that we could do a credible job without having to spend a lot of money. <laughs> we budgeted back at where we were when we started in 1998. And as it turned out, our audience was 33,000, not 23,000 that first year. And so it's been growing. So this, this past year, 2019, we were uh, over 37,000. So we're on our way back to where we were. There's an awful lot of people that had great affinity for this particular theater. This is, this is where they attend the theater. I've lived here for 22 years, and this is my home. I'm passionate about tourism because I think it's important for this area to thrive. We've always believed that we want to make theater be as accessible as possible. Almost everybody that works in theater is smart enough and capable enough to work somewhere else for more money. <laughs> but they work here because they're passionate about it. 